you can oh that's the way uh-huh uh-huh i like it uh-huh uh-huh that's the way uh-huh uh-huh i like it uh-huh uh-huh that's the way uh-huh uh-huh i like it uh-huh uh-huh that's the way uh-huh uh-huh i like it uh-huh uh-huh Hello, folks, and welcome to the Silver 5150 Show. I'm Silver 5150, and today we are going to respond to a subscriber's questions about copper. Do I believe in copper? Do I invest in copper? Yes, I do. Take a look. These are tubes of copper coins. You can see I've got them all labeled. There's some uh, spoof Bitcoin copper rounds. There's buffaloes. There's uh, Molin Labe, which is the 300 King Midas's men and St. Gaudens and the Egyptian dragons I showed you guys a while back when I had the silver ones out in the video. If you haven't seen the old video, go and see it. It's there for you to watch. Um, Aztec um, Indian rounds along with Aztec Dragon rounds. Oh, which are right here. I have these Aztec Dragons. We're going to go ahead and take care of this now at the, as a centerpiece right here. To show you the value of copper as bullion coined rounds, okay? It actually creates a conundrum because people don't really know from spot price. They don't want to do the math to figure out, you know, what, okay, well, what is the pound per price? And, you know, then how do you extrapolate, you know, uh, 16 um, AVDP ounces from that? And then what is going to be the one ounce spot price and all that? But, but look, these things cost a dollar when I bought them. They were 99 cents a piece. I got them in a roll, like with these Bitcoins. And um, but since then, you know, because they're limited, along with the silver ones that were limited, the silver ones run you about 50 bucks now, by the way. If you got some of these, Quizotals, which was number one in the World of Dragon series from Provident Metals, then those things are retailing anywhere from 35 to 50 bucks, depending on where you go, Amazon or eBay. These, on the other hand, are the kings of appreciation. We were talking about how metals can appreciate. You know, people say, well, silver's not going to go up that high, maybe twice, you know, $30, whatever. They okay, fine. But I watched rhodium. I actually held rhodium from $1,100 up to $9,500, and I cashed in on that profit. These right here, I bought for 99 cents, and if you look on eBay, Amazon, go ahead and check it right now. They're anywhere from five to eight bucks retail, okay? So this is how coin pure copper in a beautiful bullion form can enhance your retirement. Now, if you can't afford expensive silver coins, which uh, let's be honest, they're all expensive now, gee, um, you can certainly resort to copper. They've even got fractional copper. So just to give you an idea, that is a one ounce Kazozal, and that is a quarter ounce buffalo copper round. Okay? Let's get on the hop of that. Okay, just to make sure we can authenticate. Yep, there's a buffalo in the back. Right. So I think Golden State Mint does these. Somebody else might. Um, but all the retailers carry them. And speaking of which right now, JM Bullion, they have um, the biggest selection of $1 copper coins. That makes, they're selling theirs for $2. Mercury Dime Design, Walk and Liberty Design, for $1.99, best price, right? I love copper so much, I put a one ounce copper round in a 50 cent capsule because I think copper is going to appreciate that much. And you get into these bigger sizes, you can see we've got buffaloes, we've got uh, the Aztec Indians I was telling you about, okay? Um, we've got the popular, popular, popular 1909 penny design, okay? That's my favorite wheat penny design. And then, of course, the spoof, spoof Bitcoin. Here, it says bullion, not bits, um, Bitcoin, um, real wealth, real money, you know, in metal. Um, and so there's people, you know, um, doing these rounds. Let's see if we can find something else really cool in here. Um, oh, I love these alligators. Don't tread on me, these alligators here. Don't tread on me. Let's get, don't mess with me. Okay, don't mess with me. It's got a shield in the back there with the bird. And it tells you, like, all of the dimensions. Let's see if we can get in on that. It has one AVDP ounce, which is, I think, one sixteenth of an ounce. A troy ounce of silver is one twelfth of an ounce. These are one sixteenth of an ounce. Take sixteen of these to make a pound. So why? Because copper is base metal. I have, I guess, it has a different, you know, way of being measured. And precious metals, only precious metals get to be measured in troy ounces, if I'm not mistaken. So do I believe in copper? Yes, I believe in copper so much that I have about two thousand ounces of it right now. And I'm probably gonna get some more. I'm probably gonna get some more. 
But let's not stop there. Let's see what the Bible says about copper. Okay. Now, look, I know it's Easter Monday and stuff, and we did a lot of Easter stuff, and we paid tribute to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is going to be my close on that, and we'll get back more to the metal, but we always have them with us. We always have them in our hearts. So here we go. We're going to go from Mark, um, verse 12, uh, Mark chapter 12, verses 40 through 44. Let's do that. Okay. Verse 40. They devoured widows' houses. For a show, they make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. Now, does that sound like the Federal Reserve? They've got their banks with these weird loans. They're, they're buying up houses or they're foreclosing on people's houses. J.P. Morgan's trying to change the rules on loans and, you know, and keep, you know, keep the interest rates high on loans, even though they know they should be dropping them along with the Fed uh, funds rate. And they're not doing that. Let's continue. In uh, verse 41, Jesus sat down opposite the place where offerings were being put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts. Verse 42, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. Right? They gave out their wealth. They all gave out their wealth, but she, verse 44, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. So even though the wealthy had given up, you know, all kinds of, uh, you know, silver and gold and stuff, uh, her two little copper coins had more impact because she gave 100% of what she had um, in that treasury to help the way do what they were doing. So, you know, the thing is, the Bible talks about copper in many other references, but uh, the bottom line is, is copper has monetary value too. And if Jesus says it does, that's good enough for me. But it's more than that. Let's take a look at the effects of inflation on copper. And let's take a look while we look at these beautiful capsulized coins. Okay. If you don't think copper responds to inflation, consider this. The last year in 1982, a 95% copper penny that had 5% zinc in it, all right, um, <laughs> this place falling down, went, um, went back to about a cent to produce, okay? Um, it, it cost cement two cents to make when they were doing it, all right? It, it got up to that because the price of copper had gotten up that much. And then it finally dropped back down to one cent to produce because they switched the ratios. Instead of 95% copper and 5% zinc, they went to 5% 5, 5 copper and 95% zinc, which still made the penny worth about a cent, but it was easier to produce. Okay, and that was in 1982 when they made that switch. Okay, now you understand copper was 60 cents a pound back then, all right? But today copper's four times that. So a copper penny today, if you could actually get one, would have at least five cents worth of copper in it, okay? All right, let me fix this here. Um, and so, as a result, let's see if we can get the mercury down. You know, we're just going to sit up right there. I love that. Um, so, as a result, you know, um, if you had one pure ounce of silver today, um, at those prices, at today's prices, which I think, you know, silver, uh, uh, copper's running about 240 an ounce, 240 a pound right now. Um, you know, it's still got about 50 cents, 50 cents worth of actual pure copper in it, okay? All right, so now copper, you know, when you buy an ounce of copper, it's probably going to cost, you know, for the blanks about 25 cents, okay? Honestly, because you're talking a uh, penny was 2.5 cents, copper penny, that's times 10 because it's a tenth, then that's going to make it 25 cents. So why does a copper round cost a dollar? Well, um, there's a strike price on every single coin. And that strike price is going to be around 50 cents. So that leaves a little bit on the bone for the manufacturers and stuff. And so for now, you can get these coins, if you time it right and you buy the right volume, you can get these coins and you can time them right to get them about a dollar a piece. I've seen some places where you can get them like 83 cents a piece if you buy like 500. And you um, get the uh, volume pricing and no tax and you pay cash. Okay, so with all that, you got to consider that um, copper is a sound investment because right now, like I said, copper is only two dollars and forty cents a pound. Well, what happens when copper becomes five cents a pound, ten cents a pound, five dollars a pound, or ten dollars a pound? Right. So the premiums are going to increase on copper as they go forward. You know, making these coins, you're going to buy them for maybe you know a dollar or two dollars or ten dollars. Um, down the road, but then the premium is going to go up on them too. And I can tell you right now, at that time, gold's probably going to be in the tens of thousands, right? And then silver's going to be well into the hundreds, approaching 600. And at that time, I can guarantee you that copper as coins, Willow, please knock it off. 
copperous coins are going to be very appealing to people that are trying to uh, get into the coin game. They've missed out on silver. They don't want to pay $700 for Silver Eagle, but they'll gladly pay $20 or $25 for a nicely minted copper coin. It's a nicely minted copper coin. It's an investment vehicle. They can get in on it. Now, of course, copper is a base metal and there's a lot more of it available. But guys, think about the quadrillions of dollars we've been talking about, you know, and even on a deck clock. I hate to keep bringing a deck clock up. I don't do it every day. Um, we're approaching $2,400 an ounce on silver, according to the dollars out there. So if we use the same metrics we used earlier about copper um, being at a 1 to 20 ratio to silver, then that says right now a copper round like this should be, uh, what, 120 bucks? <laughs> Based on the dollar value? I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Nobody knows where these valuations are going to go. But I can tell you right now, with purely minted copper, pure copper that was too, too much for money, it was too expensive for money back when... Um, Reagan was president, then why would it not be worth an awful lot today in its minted form? There's a standy liberty right there. You guys like that? Okay. So, what do we got? You know, we got all these different uh, copper coins and stuff. There's plenty of variety out there for you. We know that JM Bullion has the best deals right now um, out there. And so, you know, just uh, keep in mind that you cannot go wrong with copper if you want to add it to your portfolio to have something a little extra or just have more weight to your stack. It is a base metal. It's not a, um, it's not a precious metal, but it actually has a lot of potential for growth. And these gazotals can prove that. These gazotals can prove that. So we got some more stuff coming up on tap for you this week. Um, appreciate you tuning in for the copper show. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, but I will tell you this that I told one of the subscribers um, that inspired me to do this video is try to find copper coins that are part of a silver or gold limited series. And they'll make a copper version, like in this, like the World of Dragons. It's Egyptian dragon here. Quizotl, the Aztec dragon here. I've got some other dragons, but not copper. I think they're all go, uh, all um, silver. But if I'd known better, I would have got more copper um, dragons because they seem to sell out hot. Now, I did get my Egyptian dragon. I got 100 of those, right? And so I'm very happy I did that. But if I'd known more, I would have done a little better. But who's to say? You can go online right now, look on Amazon, look on eBay, and maybe you'll find some of these coins that are actually doing pretty well, you know, in the singular retail market looking for that special buyer. So, yes, the short answer is copper is a great investment. Copper is legit. Bullion grade, um, minted, you know, uh, it's got the weight and the purity on, on it to some degree. Um, and you can use it to definitely, definitely, definitely enhance your investments, if not enhance your stack. If you got a gold stack, if you're gold people, you're not interested in copper. You're gold people. If you're silver people, you're probably interested in uh, copper because you can see its correlation with uh, copper. And but as, as, as I speak about this, you know, understand that silver is a byproduct of most copper mines. And silver's not being produced right now because a lot of silver mines are out, um, you know, out of circulation. So, um, for that very reason alone, copper would be a nice fallback, a place to go to. Now, I'm going to give you one final disgusting mathematic, and then I'm going to leave you alone. Back when rhodium had gotten up to $13,500, a lot of the exchanges, metals exchanges, were only giving you about $9,300 for it. They weren't giving you top dollar for it. They were cutting off $9,300 because the manufacturers would only pay probably $95 to $10,000 $10, for it. But did you know at that time, if you shopped right, for $9,500, one bar rhodium, which I had six of them, but they're gone now. I turned them into silver. For one bar rhodium, you could have bought 20 monster boxes of copper coins like this. 20 monster boxes with one bar rhodium. And my point is not to make it sound crazy, you know, the disparity between the most extreme precious metal and the most uh, entry-level um, investment metal. But it's just to show you how distorted the overblown dollar, the overgrown dollar, the overprinted dollar has made the metals markets. Metals should not be that spread that far apart from each other. I mean, they're metals, they're elements on the periodic table, the ones we uh, talk about. And I mean, some are rarer than others, but uh, the idea that there's a 10,000 times disparity between, you know, uh, copper and something else is just kind of weird. All right. And that's created by the dollar. Anyway. We'll keep an eye on more of the markets today. Gold did pretty good today. Um, gold kicked some butt, got a past 1730 um, and closed above 1730. Silver did not close above 1580. These two places, these two parts, these two um, um, ranges here are what we're looking for to be able to move even higher. Um, silver, for whatever reason, has a really hard time at 1580 once we're down to slow, getting past that and closing above that. You can, saw, you can see that today. 
Gold had trouble with 1730, but now that that's done and 1730 is out of the way, if we can put on some more gains tomorrow, gold will start to do some things that we were expecting a month and a half ago. So just keep that in mind. I had a person tell me one time, says, hey man, what do you got there, a box full of gold? Uh, no, it's copper. Wow, it looks like gold. It goes to show you how much people know about metals and precious metals and all that stuff. So guys, buy some copper because I'm telling you, the general public has no idea what the actual uh, you know, collectible value of it is. You can probably name your own price at one point, especially once silver starts to climb in the stratosphere and nobody knows what copper should be. All right? So with 5150, asking you to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for putting up my broken down display. Um, and, and thanks for putting up the camera angles, moving around and stuff. But let's just close with Quizzeltal. Oh, my gosh. What a beautiful dragon. What a beautiful coin. World of Dragons. There's something coming up next after the Egyptian. Try to get as many of those copper rounds as you can. All right? I'm going to get as many silver ones as I can, but probably mostly copper. And we get some other copper stuff, too. All right. We're out. Take care.